And circles are great ways to learn. They've been with us throughout history, and Juliana, who's much smarter than I am, and I'll easily admit to that, <laughs> gave me a good history of circles and how they were used in different cultures. Thank you for that. I didn't know that part, though, because I'm a history guy, so I knew that, but you did a great job of articulating and expressing your views of circles. But we're here today in a circle because we, we care a lot about Hereford County High School in the direction that it's moving in. And it's a good mixture of a circle. We're going to introduce ourselves when you, get the, when you get the object today will be keys. Because the key to success and the key to the future of this whole organization is a circle. Because we all represent the whole student body in the community in, in this circle. I'm Mr. Long. I'm a NILA intern working here as an assistant principal. And I'm here because I deeply, deeply care about young people <coughs> and their future and their decisions that they make every day. I'm Casey Wood Jr. I'm in the senior leadership team, and I'm here because I also deeply care about my peers and students at high school. My name is Jordan. Uh, I'm in 10th grade. I'm here to get a good education. My name is Daquan. I'm a sophomore, and I'm here because I improved ever since I got high school. My name is Sarah Davis, and I teach math. This is my 16th year in Herbert County High School. And Hereford County High is very special to me because it was also the high school where I went to school. Um, my name is Lenny Gallon. I'm a senior here at Hereford County. Um, I'm here because I just like helping people, helping them get on the right path, and I'm just great now. My name is Brianna Cooper. I'm a junior, and I'm here to learn about issues that affect other people. My name is Mike. I'm a sophomore. I'm here to. I guess, try to find myself as a person. My name is Juliana Jordan. Uh, it's really not pronounced Juliana, it's Juliana. I'm a 11th grade student here at Harper County High School. I'm a member of the student leadership team. And I'm here to help others to find their strengths and to bring out the best in other people as I find the best in me. My name is Kim. I'm here. I'm a senior at Herb County High School. Um, I'm a member of this leadership team. And I'm here because I care about education and seeing other people in work. Thank you so much for your introductions. I think that was awesome. And some of y'all were really starting to open up early, and I like that. Uh, I'm going to throw something out there, and I'll just pass it around. You have about 30 seconds to speak on it. What is the biggest problem here at this high school? To me, I see as the biggest problem is purpose or lack of purpose. We move around the school without purpose. That's why we're late to class. That's why we get referrals in class, because we don't really understand our purpose. I would like for us to start focusing on the purpose of why we're here. I think it's one of the biggest problems at the school. The biggest problem I see is negative influence. I feel like if you're going to be influenced by somebody, it should be in a positive manner, in an upbringing manner, not in a negative way, because if you if you're being influenced by negative people, then you're just letting everybody's everybody's ways come into you, and maybe that's not making you form into a better person or a good person. The bigger problem I see is people joking around, playing, and like they're not caring about their work or what they do in life. I feel like the problem here at Hampton High School is people are mostly misunderstood and not seen as who they really are, but as what they want to be. I think one of the biggest problems is lack of motivation. We've got several students that are driven to succeed, and then we have others that are trying to find their way and not quite sure, and they're a little, if they had a little more motivation, maybe they would um, know exactly what they want to do. Um, I think the problem is, like, some people see school as an obligation instead of somewhere where you can come and learn and then still have fun also. And then not, not knowing when and where to have the fun and how to have the fun. Um, some people take it too far. Um, like myself, I can, in a classroom, I can have fun and do my work also. But some people can't do one without the other. Um, but they take one too far, you know. So that's the problem, I feel. I believe that the school's inability to share in a common perspective is also hurting us. I believe the biggest problem is attitude and negativity towards each other. I believe that the biggest problem for County High School is that there's no balance. Either people are 
not serious enough about school, or sometimes they're a little too serious and they're kind of pushing themselves over the edge. We need to strike a balance anywhere in life, no matter what aspect it is, school, college, life, whatever. Balance is a must, and in order to achieve that balance, we have to realize what the extremities are, what the consequences of those extremities are, and then find out how we can improve on ourselves. Uh, I believe the biggest problem is people juggling it wrong times and not taking the class serious. Good. I'm so glad I'm not sitting next to you. <laughs> I did it on purpose, guys. <laughs> like, when you do it's like perspective, explain it, elaborate a little bit, because that was an awesome answer. And it really grabbed me and Ms. Davis' attention. We knew what you were talking about, but the whole audience, elaborate on that a little bit, because that was a great, great answer. Um, now we'll go with something a little deeper, mistakes. Mistakes you've made since you've been here. The biggest mistake I've made since I, when I first came here, I didn't give enough of myself to you as students. I put demands on you without you knowing who I was. And I should have took, been a little more cautious in my approach. Some of you knew me before I got here. Some of you didn't. You were total strangers to me, like when I first met you two. And really, was on you I was on you both pretty hard. But I really didn't let you know who I was. I should have did a better job of that. And I'd like to right now apologize to you both for that. I'm sorry for that. But I thank you for the changes you made in your life, though. I appreciate that every day. I truly mean that. I appreciate it. And my mistake was not letting people know enough of who I am. I think my biggest mistake when I first came here was judging others before I really got a chance to know them. Like, you can't, seeing somebody not like you or whatever does not mean they're a bad person. It just means they do different things, other, different things that you're not used to. But my biggest mistake was definitely judging people before I actually knew them. My biggest mistake was first semester, I always like to play around. Got a whole bunch of referrals, and then Mr. Long helped me out, and then I just tried to do better. My mistakes were basically not taking my classes as seriously as I should, knowing that I can do better, but not doing better. Um, I try and have very high expectations for all my students, and sometimes maybe, I don't want to say my expectations are too high, but maybe I forget that they are in high school at times? Um, one of my biggest mistakes is being too radical. Sometimes on um, what I want and um, what I can see for myself oh, um, can be a little overwhelming for others. So I'm kind of radical in what, what I want. So I push myself and push other people out of the way. Uh, my biggest mistake was just not being still extended to this day is being highly critical of other people's decisions and judgments, and also being somewhat of a people pleaser. I think my biggest mistake was starting out at this new school, starting to hang out with the wrong crowd from the beginning. And that's what I did. I would say that my biggest mistake that I made in high school is probably that I have closed myself to other people when I uh, initially came into high school, that I didn't give people a chance, and I didn't give them a chance to really get to know me. So uh, I've worked on that since ninth grade, and I need to continue working on that so that I can be more open to other people and other ideas and other perspectives in life. Um, one of my biggest mistakes was that I used to speak up and I see people doing all wrong and doing the wrong things, but you know what I mean? That was awesome. Um, now, the next part, and I thank you for all your openness on that too. And um, and I did, I watched you two make a lot of mistakes, and I tried to jump in as early as I could to fix it. But I think once I started letting you know who I am, it, it kind of helped the process a little bit. And I like to do the same with you too, Michael, because I, I watch you a lot, make a lot of mistakes around the school. And it's time for you to stop making those same mistakes over and over. Because the, the wrong crowd, son, you become the wrong crowd. You become the person that people tell their kids not to associate themselves with because of your actions. Our words are one thing, but we're always going to be judged by our what? Actions. Actions. Actions speak louder than words. It's what we do. I can say a thousand things the way I'd like to fix the school or see the direction that it moves in. But until I start doing the things like we're doing today with the student leadership team, that's action. And I'm so scared that I'm not going to be with you next year. But I've left a challenge for the student leadership team as I look around at them 
I've challenged you, have I not? I've challenged you for next year already. If I'm not here, you must continue without me. And I, you, you said you would, and I believe in you. And I think teachers like Ms. Davis will help you find the time to do so. Because they understand what we're trying to do here. And what are we trying to do? I'm trying to make this the best place for every child that walks through that door to have a chance to get an opportunity to gain an education. The key to your future is education. I want everyone that walks in that door to have the equal opportunity to gain that education. What are you trying to do? Well, what is your leadership team? And just for anybody here from high school, I'm just trying to motivate and inspire them to be something that maybe their past generation wasn't or their parents wasn't. Um, just try to get them to be all they can be and do all they can do and just don't take negative feedback from any other body, any other people that think they maybe can't do what they want to do. Pretty much all I'm trying to do is change my life around and be something in life. I want to make myself proud and make my mother proud. I want to help the students become all that they can be here at this school. And I want the school to be viewed by the community as a wonderful place and for us to get some positive feedback for a change. Um, what I'm trying to do is help everybody um, understand the balance between having fun at school and then come to get your education and be serious about your education and don't let anyone, whether it be in you know, other students, or make sure keep, keep you from getting your education where you need to be in the high state. I would like to make a contribution to my community. I would like to do something great with myself and do whatever I do at the best of my ability. I would like to make Hereford County High School a jewel in Hereford County. I want Hereford County High School to become a landmark that will stand to eternity because we know what was done here and we know that the students and teachers and faculty and everyone that's ever had a part in this school to know that we built this school and we have put our all into this school and we want the whole county to be proud of us because of what we've done. Um, I'm trying to help others be successful and improve themselves. I think we all are moving in the right direction in our mindsets and what we're trying to do. Schools change a lot, and, you, and me and you know that, because me and Mr. is a lot older than you all are, and schools change so much. And I just want it to be where it, it taps into, we had great conversations, Carrie's on camera right now, but me and Carrie and Juliana had great conversations about direction of school and where it's going to move to as far as assessment and things like that. Schools change, and I think we can't just keep doing school the way we did in the 60s and the 70s and the 80s. It's not fair to you as young people. It's so, you're, you're so talented, you're so smart, you're so gifted in so many different areas. Multitasking, y'all blew that away 10 years ago when you ability to do more than one thing at one time. You have so, so much ability. And I don't think school being stuck in this system lets you tap into the true ability that you have. And I, I think that caused some of the problems that we have at school. But things like this, I mean, who's ever done this in a school before? I've never had a chance to speak in school when I was your age like this. This is a power. This is, you talk about learning and, and growing. This is learning and growing right now at a high level. And you're all conducting yourself at a high level. If Ms. Davis is a teacher, what would you grade these children right now if you had to grade them? A. An A. A and I would too be the teacher. You'd all get A's for what you did. And your, your, your academic abilities are very, you know, it's a big difference within the circle. But right now you're all making A's because you're speaking not from your mind, just your mind, but from your heart. You're using something called emotional intelligence. That's a powerful tool. If we're going to turn this thing in the right direction, we can. We have to. The mindsets of everybody. We, we, have, to, we have to know what we're looking for when we walk down these halls. And we have to see it. It's attitudes and effort that happens in the school every day. And we have to do something to help shape that. If we didn't, we didn't do anything. I told you when I first met you. What did I tell you? What are you leaving behind? What have you done for your school? The first question I've asked you was what? What I'm, what I'm doing here to help the school. Like. What have you done for your school? I watch you big, tough football players, and y'all are big, incredible athletes. I watch you out there playing football hard, and sweating, and, and really playing hard out there. And then, but I ask you, besides that athletic event, what have you done for your school? And what did you tell me? Just being here, really nothing. Yeah, nothing. But now you've done so much more in this little, little fraction of time. 
You, and we, me and Mr. Asia, <coughs> watch you. we manipulated it somewhat. We were men, we were teachers. We do use manipulation. We manipulated y'all somewhat. I'm being honest, Desmond, to move y'all in the direction we want you to move into because you have the power. It's more of you students than there are of us teachers and administrators. You have to share numbers over us. Now, if your mindset is in the right direction, think of how powerful this thing can move and the direction it can move into. It is a jewel. I want to shine. It's a jewel, but sometimes jewels get covered up. Where do you find diamonds at? In the rough. In the rough. You have to dig for them in the rough. And this is a diamond. We have to uncover it. And I think we, we need to make that commitment to each other to do it every day. We don't want things like referrals attached to our name. Like It's embarrassing. It gives people misconceptions, and it gives the community, like Mr. Davis says, misconceptions about us. This is a wonderful school. We want it to be a great school that stands the test of time. And it can if we put ourselves and we work together all in the same direction. I'm in my last parting shot, you get to do your parting shot now. I am committed. Well, I'm also committed because I feel as if, if we all get everybody on the same page and one common goal is to do well and improve ourselves, then we can make the school a better play, place because other people don't perceive Herb County High School as what it is, but they don't know because they don't see anything good coming from us. But if we improve our ELC scores, improve our um, just regular scores anyways, then we can improve the school and let our community also see it. I'm committed to help other people and show them what's right to do. Teamwork makes the dream work. I love that. Great job. Um, I've seen what the school can do over many years, and we are headed in the right direction, and I'm committed to progressing that direction even further. Um, no, I can, see, uh, I can see our school moving forward because um, even though it may be a little different next year and the years that come because of like Common Cook coming to our schools and to North Carolina and everything, um, I see, I'm kind of jealous because when I go off to college, me and my um, peers in college may have, have learned different things, but now with Common Cook coming in, they have the same advantage. We won't be hiding each other, but I take the advantage I can as a student. I'm committed to becoming more aware and becoming more involved. I am committed to greatness. Well, I have always heard one million starts with one. If you want to make a difference, you got to start with yourself. So I'm ready to start with myself, improve our Herbert County by improving myself. Um, I'm committed to make sure everybody do their own best that they can. Thank y'all so much for what you've done today, and I think we're moving in the right direction. Just imagine that the, the circle becomes the whole school. We're all sitting in a circle, holding hands in a circle, with the same beliefs and values of where we could be in the future and how we need to move and how we need to get there. Sometimes we say we want to be here, we want to score high in tests, but it's what you do to get there that matters. How, how you travel the journey, all the things that happen to you along the way is what really truly matters.